Welcome to TTR Gaming's first ever uh, video unboxing right here for you of Atlas's new sleeper hit video game, uh, Catherine. And Catherine, as we all know, is uh, it's been this game that uh, Persona team, if you ever played Persona on PlayStation 2, I highly suggest it. Um, they moved on to their first HD title, and it was the first uh, multi-platform game, so it was really cool. So the one I have right here is the alternate box art edition from Best Buy, so it's really cool. So it's PlayStation Network and Xbox Live compatible, so you get uh, online leaderboards as well as trophies or achievements if you're an Xbox gamer. And speaking of uh, network compatibility, looks like there isn't any more compatibility for uh, multiplayer in this game. And I find that to be kind of a disappointment. So getting on to the back of the box, which kind of tells you a little bit about the game. So uh, this right here, of course, we all know the M rating. It's kind of sad. Let me see if you guys can see that. I don't know. All right. Um, it kind of tells you a little bit about the story. Uh, just some shots of the game. It's really cool. Uh, this game takes up 2.5 gigabytes of hard drive space for all you PlayStation gamers, and it's only 720p, so that's kind of a, that's kind of sad. Uh, I kind of was expecting more, but oh well. Uh, meanwhile, when you open the box, you're gonna get the uh, the Blu-ray kind of right here, um, or the or the DVD if you have an Xbox, and then you get the game manual right here, which is kind of uh, I think this is the main important part right here. So I'm gonna take this out and check it out a bit. So, kind of looks like when you open it up, this right here is the actual box art for the uh, for all you PlayStation 3 gamers. This is the actual box art for the game. And uh, Atlas, it shows right here. It looks like some table of contents, seizure warnings, and blah, blah, blah. Ah, this tells you a little bit about the story. Uh, Vincent is a little ambitious in his life, blah, blah, blah. Not important, right? So here's our main character. They call him the Lost Lamb, as it says uh, kind of right here. Um... This game has a lot of sheep in it, apparently. Then there's, uh, looks like his girlfriend, Catherine McBride. That's Catherine with a K, I think, down here. I don't know if you guys can read that. Then there's his, uh, his cheater girlfriend, Catherine with a C over here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, y'all could probably find scans of this online if you can't see it. I apologize. Um, so it kind of tells you a little bit about the game right here. Looks like this right here is Golden Playhouse mode, which is like story. Uh, new game, load game, babble mode, which is kind of like apparently it looks like it says it has trials and such in it. You can go, you can do it uh, by yourself or, uh, or with someone else, but it's offline only, so you have to have a second controller. Um, so and it does record your your records even offline. So it kind of shows you some shots of the game, a leaderboard for online. There you go. Oh, make sure you sign into PSN and, or Xbox Live uh, to get some of the network features. Uh, apparently, I think some of it's like voting stuff. Kind of shows you some controls for the game. There's two different control schemes, one for the nightmare stages and one for the bar stage. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit more. So, kind of shows you some basic moves right here, how to pull out a block, how to push it without, you know, destroying all your work. Uh, some kind of techniques over here it shows for the nightmare stages. Ah, the nightmare stage. Keep climbing, keep surviving. So, Vincent starts off at the bottom. Your job is to get him to the top, lead him to freedom. That's the basic core gameplay of Catherine, apparently. Uh, if you get a game over, make sure you have Mystic Pillows, it says. You also get some kind of some stuff right here. Items. It says, so there's kind of pause menu right here. Then you have what's called the landing. And the landing is kind of like this... Uh, I think it's supposedly like an in-between stage where you can learn tricks and uh, save points and such. Really good stuff. Some items, a game, Mystic Pillow Bell, energy drinks, Bibles, dark blocks, white blocks. Then there's the confessional. And this is kind of like the decider point for the game. Kind of like, should you pick the good side or should you pick the bad side? But to be honest, it's not going to be normal black and white karma stuff. Uh, it's actually dependent on what you choose. So do me a favor, guys, and answer honestly when playing. Uh, then apparently it sends your... Uh, make, this is where the part where I think you have to sign in is. Um, make sure to sign in and uh, use your um, use your PlayStation Network ID or your Xbox Live Gamer tag to... Uh, it'll send your data off to, to wherever, and it'll show the results of other people's stuff too, kind of in a pie chart right here. 
I don't know if y'all can see that. Uh, shows you a little meter for karma. Next is the bar. And you can do spend time, drink, uh, talk to people, do stuff. Uh, and then there's texting, too, in the game, supposedly. This is your only other save point, it says down here. Uh, so make sure to save a lot. Then there's uh, kind of like a Rapunzel game, which is supposedly, I think it's a retro-style video game to help you become better. Then there's the jukebox, of course, and the restroom to check uh, text messages. It's the only place of solitude in the game. And it looks like that's about it, actually, for this game. The rest is all, like, French and such. I don't know if you guys want to see. Here's a, here's a shot of the French page. So that's about it for our Catherine unboxing. I want to thank you guys for uh, watching this today. Make sure to subscribe to TTR Gaming's podcast as well as our YouTube channel. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.